Greasy the comments. I'm Mr. Gantles. And this is just basically a little thing. Um, well, you know what, what I didn't mention about um, about the Bristol field trip. I know, I know it's a bit it's a, like a couple, it's a few months late this, but I took some I took some pictures there just just to kind of get you to to know what it was that I um, that I had a that I had done on those trips because I'm just showing you a bunch of fossils and talk about how cold it was. That wasn't too much. So I'm just going to show you a bunch of pictures and stuff that I took there, so you can you know you have a better understanding of what it was that we exactly that we did there. So the first day, we went to a uh, the second day, as you know, we went to the Brist, we went to the Bristol Channel. On the first day, however, we went to Cheddar Gorge, and so we, we you know so basically we walk around and everything, and I was the first to notice this, and it took several minutes before my uh, my le my meteorology lecturer he actually noticed, and he was like. <gasps> And then he quickly warned everyone nearby about what he what he'd seen. And basically, okay, this this picture that this pic this is the picture that, he, that this is what what he saw. As you can see here, there is a very large piece of rock that is about to fall off the cliff face. Like this thing was huge. It was maybe a couple of meters high. Which you know, if you put that into perspective, then you realize, okay, that, you know, this is quite a wide, thick rock. And it was maybe a maybe a few inches. Being, it was held, being held onto the rock by a few inches at the base. And this thing was basically about to fall off. And it, was, it didn't fall off while we were there, no. I don't think so, at least. But, you know, it was about to fall off, and I was like, how did no one notice this yet? I mean, you'd think they would have noticed it, but they didn't for some reason. Okay, the next picture was basically when uh, this girl in my uh, in my class, she found a bunch of fossils. And we like, where's the fossils? Because, yeah, you know, like, Cheddar Gorge is made of it's a limestone rock. And so... If, uh, that, so this is this this is just basically to show everything perspective. So, where are the fossils? Well, they're, they're actually right, they're right, they're right here. Yep, there. Okay, so as you can see, here are the fossils right here. So, you know, we got bits of clamshells sticking out here, and we got a little gastropod there. And so we're like, oh, there are fossils in this rock. So, at that point in time, everyone decided we must look for fossils, and so we did. And this is just basically how I talk about how the scale it is compared to my pencil. You know, they're, they're very tiny fossils, but they were there nonetheless. And then I took a bit, a bit of a closer picture so you could see just how well detailed these fossils were, better than the limestone. And then we found more fossils. Well, I think I found more fossils, and they were over here. The problem was they were much smaller, and I wasn't too sure if they were actually fossils or just a, a mineral or crystal formation. As you can see here, there were these weird stripy lines, and I thought, oh god, maybe this has to do with an ammonite or something. And then I saw this, and this one here, and I thought, okay, well maybe that this is a you know, part of a clamshell. But I wasn't too sure, because I know that some minerals can form a circular, uh, radiating acicular structures. So I, I wasn't too sure about that, unfortunately. And then, whilst no one was looking, I got a piece, and this this is a big, a few miles away, at another location, I can't exactly remember where. And while no one else was looking, I took a piece of rock, and I just scr and I just scratched across and, and an oval around it, into the rock. And uh, I don't think anyone noticed it, but as you can see, it's right there. <laughs> and hopefully it's, uh, it may, maybe, you know, we're all worn away by now, I don't know, but, you know, just, I, I you know, I'm just very acknowledging the fact that this is one of God's wonders. Because, you know, he, he created all this stuff, and we were looking, because, you know, we learned that this was actually on a, kind of this area was like on an anticline. So you had, um, so you had this section of rock, it was basically pointing, you know, slightly upwards. Whereas in the Cheddar Gorge, several miles away, it was pointing downwards slightly. So this had formed a huge fold over time. You know, so we're looking at everything in this perspective here. And on the second day, as you can see here, these, these are the fossils I found. This is part of a rock that was too big for me to take back. I just put my notebook there to take photos to show you just how many fossils there were. And there were thousands of these little crinoid uh, calcium plates. Or calcite plates there, as you can see in the rock. There were so many of them, it was unbelievable. And... You know, embedded in the red limestone, there truly, there truly was a lot. So just, just going through there now, you can see all of them. Some of them were large, some of them were small. And then some of them, because uh, I'd show you the ones that... Uh, you know, so, so I'd, I'd shown you the, the, the crinoid fossil, you know, it was like basically stalks. This is what happens if you break those stalks in half. So you can see all the little calcite plates, but from a, um, but from another perspective. So along the, uh, the y-axis, I believe it is, so, you know, cross-sectional view, I like cut in half. And you can see just how, you know, just what it looks like on the inside. So it, it, this was a, this is a little small thing. And this, I believe it was a form of quartz that had recrystallized in the, uh, in the rocks, so the limestone was breaking down over time, and it was uh, reforming. It was, it was uh, undergoing diagenesis into a quartz. It was very the limestone was very much stained by hema hematite, and then this was a part of um, 
part of the actual fold itself in the rock, which was uh, not just a fragmented rock nearby. As you can see, there were thousands of these little fossils everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Absolutely amazing. And then these, I believe, were stalks of much bigger crinoids, but I couldn't take them back because they were stuck in the rock face. And you know, there's some clay here, as you can see in this corner. But you can see this, this stalk here, this, this, this rather large stalk. Um, there's maybe about an inch across. I couldn't take it out, unfortunately. And then I believe that there was some. This may be another stalk. I can't be too sure about that. It was some. There's so many of these fossils in the rock. It's unbelievable. I mean, I know, I know, I know that fossils can form large fossil beds, but you know, it's quite something to go there yourself and just realize. Wait, every single one of these circles is a is a fossil. Yeah. So that that was basically all the pictures and stuff from that I took of Bristol. I know, I know there weren't a lot. I know that, but that was because I was too busy focusing on trying not to get hypothermia at the time, and. I did, I did a better, much better job when I was at Wycliffe Bay, so I'm just going to do that, uh, look at those pictures now and everything, but hopefully you guys saw you know, a bit more of a perspective from when I was in Bristol and Cheddar Gorge, you know, saw the pictures, you saw the fossils in reference, you know, fossils in reference you know, to, the pic to the rocks and everything that they were in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. In this video, please give a like, please share my videos, please leave a comment if you think of any other things you want me to do. Please to my, subscribe, subscribe to my channel so you can see more of content, please ring, ring bell to keep up with my video releases. In the next episode, I'll basically be showing you all the rocks and stuff, all the, the pictures of the stuff I took whilst in uh, in Wycliffe Bay. Anyway, that, that's for that's for the next video. So see you next video, comrades. Until then.